Hello everyone and welcome to a Farming Sim 22 tutorial. Today we are talking about straw and since that won't take too long we will also take a look at baling. So to get straw you have to grow either wheat, barley, or oats. So I'll show you here wheat, barley, or oat. I did test sorghum since that's new and that did not give me straw swath. So if you look at the calendar here, wheat, barley, and oat. Here's your planting for oat, March, April, September, October for wheat or barley, June, July, August for wheat and barley, and July, August for oat. So you can kind of see basically the summer is when you can actually harvest straw. So what you need to do, um, I have some barley here ready to harvest. And if I go into controls, you'll see uh, the comma will disable straw swath. So if I did that and I harvested, I would not get these rows of straw like you see on the right side of the field. So what I will do is enable straw swath and then just start harvesting. And you'll see out the back, you will, the uh, straw will start coming out and create these nice rows. Now I have a pretty large header, so the rows are already pretty far apart and pretty compact with straw. If you have a smaller header, then you'll probably want to go over it with a windrower, which will just you just put on the back of your tractor and go over it and it'll sweep it into larger rows, which I show um, in my grass and hay video, but will not do here just for the sake of time. Now, to pick up the straw, you can use a forage wagon. So any one of these, and you just turn it on and lower it and drive over the straw and it'll pick it up. And then a few things you can do with it, you can feed your animals. So horses, cows, pigs, you can just go up to the pen, dump it in, and those will uh, then start producing solid manure. You can also store it in a hayloft. So if you go to construction and silos, the first one is a hayloft, and that will let you store it just like you would uh, regular crops in a regular silo, and then you can use it whenever you need also stores hay um, as well. Or sorry, it's, it's a hayloft, but it does store straw, is what I meant. And uh, the other thing you can do with it is sell it. So I wouldn't recommend it because you don't get a lot. But if you go to straw here, you can see Animal Dealer and the South Valley Biomass Energy on this map both will take straw for very little money. And if you don't want to deal with a forge wagon, then you can turn them into bales. So in this game, there are two types of bales. There are round and square. So if we go to baling, you have a ton of options. And on the bottom here, you'll see square icon or round icon. And then you'll see something new, which is the size. So these will create sort of smaller bales. And these over here can create larger ones. And you're able to adjust that if there's a range like that. So um, this round baler here, you can see I have 125 centimeters, 150, 180. I'm going to keep the smallest just so we can get to 100% uh, faster. So with the round baler, the kind of disadvantage is that when you finish with a bale, you have to manually unload it before you can move on to the next bale. You will notice I can still drive fairly quickly, but you'll see how long it kind of takes to switch out. I'll turn down time so it doesn't get too dark in this video. So I'm 100, at 100% and everything stops. So I have to stop, hit unload, wait for it to come out, and then shut the door, and then I can continue. So not a hugely long time, but if you have a ton to do, it can become really time consuming, uh, stopping and going like that. Of course, making this the bale larger would help with that as well. Now the square bale, uh, this is a pretty large one, and you can see I have 240, um, 180, 220. Now before we do this, let's look at our bale loaders. So to pick up bales, you can use a front loader and a bale spike and just put it on a wagon, bale loaders, like this, or you can use an automatic stacker uh, like these, and you can see down here, this one's for round bales. This runs for square, but you also have to match up the size. So if you buy this one, 
and you make large bales, then it's not going to work. So I have this one here, so I need bales between 180 and 240 that are square. This one would be, uh, I guess, the same. This one holds three bales, though, whereas the one I have right now holds 14. So we'll keep it the smallest again just so we can get to 100% faster. And the advantage of the square baler is that once the bale is finished, you can just keep driving and it'll just keep coming out the back here. So we'll go ahead and get a couple bales so we can see that process and how um, you don't have to stop and go as you do it. So there's 100%. It had uh, 7,000 liters of straw, units of straw, and it's still in the back of my baler. And if we keep going and get one more, you'll see it just keeps coming out. And if you had a whole huge field, this would go pretty quickly. However, if you need to, you can always stop, turn it off, and then you have the ability to just unload it manually, kind of those last couple. So there are my two square bales. And then we will pick it up. So I can show you the automatic loading part. So again, just make sure you're getting the right shape for your loader and the correct size. So I'm going to go into operating position and then all you have to do is drive into the bale and it'll just pick it up and then wait for it to come back down and pick it up again. And I think this one said it holds 14. So then you can take your stack to wherever you want, maybe put it by your cow pen since you need that uh, for bedding. You also need hay and straw for their total mixed food, and that'll be in my cows video. Um, and then when you want to unload it, you just hit Y and it'll move down. And all the loaders work pretty similarly uh, with unloading. It'll tip over. And then you just adjust where you want to put it. and hit unload bales. It'll sort of unlatch and then you can drive away safely and they'll stay right there. Uh, if you had more, let's let's say we had 14 bales, this stack would be uh, two like this and then seven tall. So you could see how you could just have like a ton of uh, bales. So that is baling. If you ever own a bale or if you ever want bales but don't have enough to do the baling process, you can buy them from the shop uh, under bales and they do have hay, silage, and straw ready to go. So that is um, kind of the basics of baling. So I hope that helps you out. Hope you learned something. You can leave a like, subscribe, or comment below if you have any questions. And of course, have yourselves a very nice day.